In this video, you will see how to set up a new Google Workspace account, how to add and verify your domains with the Google Workspace and how to manage users with the admin console. Here are the plans Google Business is offering now. It has four plans, Starter, Standard, Plus and Enterprise. I want to go with the Standard plan because it is good enough for my requirements. If I scroll down to see the features, I can see all the features for all the plans here. The standard plan is little better than the starter plan. The first thing I can see here that with the standard plan, I will get two terabytes of storage. And for the starter plan, I will get 30 gigabytes of storage. I have two reasons for choosing the standard plan over the starter plan. The first reason is appointment booking pages. With this feature, I can create a meeting scheduling calendar on Google Calendar for my clients. I do not need to use any third party tool like Calendly. The second reason is the meeting recordings saved to Google Drive. Whenever I record a meeting on Google Meet, the recording will be saved on the Google Drive. The price of the standard plan is 736 in Indian rupees. It would be different depending on the country you are living in. Let's get the plan. Here I need to enter my business name. I will go with the single user plan for now. I can increase the number of users later. The region has already been selected. Let's go to the next step. I will quickly enter the contact information and go to the next step. Now I need a domain. I already have a domain registered. If you do not have one, you can purchase one with any domain registrar. I will enter the domain name here, incredigital.com. Yes, I want to set up the business with this domain. Here I need to create the username with my entered domain and create a password for the user. Let's continue. It requires the new user to sign in to the credential I just created. Here are some terms and conditions I will continue with this. The price is different because in my region Google offers a monthly payment so I see the price a little higher here. I'll try it for 14 days. I need to fill in the address. I'll quickly fill in the address. Now for the payment method I'll select credit card and add my card here. Everything is good so far. Now I need to verify my domain so it can check if I own the domain or not. I'll click on protect and here I'll select I am ready to protect my domain. It shows the steps to verify the domain with the DNS record. Since I already have a website on the domain, on Hostinger, I need to update the DNS record here. I will go to the next step and it shows the record I need to add to the DNS record to verify the domain. On my Hostinger panel, I will open the DNS zone editor. I will add a new TXT record. This is add and I will copy the TXT values here. I will keep the default TTL value and I will click on the add record. All done. I'll click on the protect domain here. It will take a few moments to verify the domain. The domain ownership is now verified. I'll continue. I will not create any more users here. I can add as many as users I want later from the admin console. Now I need to activate the Gmail for the domains to send and receive emails. I'll click on activate and select I'm ready to activate Gmail. It shows how to add the MX records to activate the Gmail. Since my domain is registered on Namecheap, it shows the process to verify on Namecheap. However, I have a website with the domain so I need to add the MX records manually. I will search for Google Workspace MX records. And here I'll select signed up in 2023 or later. It shows me one MX record which I need to copy into my DNX zone on Hostinger and add the record. Now I will delete the default MX records on Hostinger since I am using Google Workspace for emails. These default MX records will not work anymore. Next, I will select the activate Gmail button and wait for a while until it verifies the newly added MX records. The MX record is updated. Let's move forward. Here's the admin console of my Google workspace. It gives me 10 user licenses with the trial plan. I can add more users here. I have one account now. I can set the password for the user and update the user here. To add a new user, I need to click on the add new user here and create the user. Now I will create a new Google Chrome profile for the Google Workspace account. This way I can keep my personal data separate. My new Google Chrome profile is ready. Let's log into the Gmail account. The Gmail with the custom domain account is ready. I can navigate to the admin console 
from this apps menu. Here I can manage the users, billing and other information. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if you like the video and write your queries in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel.